Our journey through Torna the Golden Country continues. We return with more of Xenoblade 2, Torna the Golden Country. Better be good. And yep, now Hugo is joining our party. But we still have our work cut out for us, believe me. There's something here. And yeah, I'm still continuing this playthrough, even though I am doing, like, Spider-Man and the Mega Man Legacy Collection. And there's also Octopath as well. It's nuts. There's just so much to do in so little time. But we have now a new ally joining our ranks, so why not? Let's put them to work. And yeah, Jin's on his own. He's on his own, but which means that we're going to have to really improvise. Nice, down leveled up to level 14. I know, I need to put time towards grinding up. Huh? Who would want to mess with us now? Oh, what do you know? That's what I call effective. Very effective. But if it means to help out my character big time, I'll take my chances. Here we go. This is just the way I do things. Ooh, ice break. Well, I like how the battle system is so improved. Not bad. We're actually making progress here. here. Take the initiative. Gotta take whatever initiative necessary to do it. Wait a minute, what? Here we go. I never tire of watching you in action. Wait, why did it end up in the water though? I mean that's not right. Well, either way, I gotta beat it down so I can level him up even further. Ooh, the ice break is so Nice job, guys. Now I'm actually seeing the value of teamwork actually being put to use here. And that's what makes this going to be so much fun. And hopefully it doesn't bore most of me to death, because, yeah, most of my time when I played Xenoblade was a grind. Get some of them level three is enough. All right, Jen, you level up to 15 and unlock some new affinity. Importantly, make sure you check on your carrot, your blade, so that way they can have their affinity boosted. Good, this should be good. 
We need to defeat an Araro Ghoul. And yeah, this game is gonna have me spend a lot of time on this. Ah, this is nice, we found a Lakeshore campsite. This place will make a perfect phase of operations. Doc, they call me. You could say I'm an adventurer, but I also have a scholarly interest in the links between Ether and Titans. Do you not know anything about this atmospheric disturbance called the Ether Miasma? There's been a few of these Ether Miasmas popping up around Gormont lately. All the little ones, man. I was gonna go and have a look myself, but I got set upon by monsters before I could get very far. To be honest, it's more the intellectual side of adventuring that I'm into. And that's great, all the rough stuff. So I was just wondering if you like it, help me out. I bet you make light work of the Espina Fairies that caused me such bother last time. If you'll help me, it'll let me really get stuck into my Ether Miasma related research, you see. Well, I'll leave it up to you. You look like you can handle it. We unlock another quest. Doc the Miasma Slayer. Times, we help each other. And nice, we can actually build a campsite. We can actually use the time to craft. Wait and look at that. Can... Now he has his own set of crafting. He can create artifacts, creative I cuisine for, her, for her. Mithra. And that's a promise. It tastes better than it looks. Hunger is the best spice, right? This so one's all about good. tinkering machines. This one's regarding perfume. I was so self-absorbed. Last but not least, refined cuisine. Allow me to demonstrate my skill. I had no idea how each of them can be so effective. And Team Laura can level up. More hold with each. Day. Same for Team Adam. What's an incredible feeling? Yep, it's just like in the original game. And I know for a fact I'm going to be spending as much time as I can to make sure everyone's all up, all hunky dory. But as you guys know, I'm stuck between like three different games, such as, well, you guys know one of them is being the Mega Man There's Legacy Collection. Here. I've already finished all six Mega Man games, and you should be getting the other ones soon enough. Alright, time to take care of you, Snake. We've got this. Wow, that's a launch if I've ever seen it. Nice. Ooh, do something needy. Understood. Steamed vegetables it is. Yep, that did it. Joint combo finish. And that's me not only more rewards, but also more experience. But our objective needs to take us to where up here. Yeah, it's time we continue the story. We don't have Laura by our side, but that's okay. We'll make sure she gets all spiffed up. For sure. Ooh, and a speed up. What the? Woo! You. Knock the bird down a peg. Uh, goodbye, bird brain. And he has achieved enlightenment. Excellent work, Angian. Now, where is he? Where did it go? I see that attitude extends to your words, too. Oh, yeah, we also gotta check the blades. This. Should let everyone relax more. The only thing missing now is to collect stuff. Yeah, if it's gonna be quite a grind. Don't mess with the bird. Don't mess with the bug. Huh. 
We're so not dealing with that. Tell me, you finally found the uninhabited Titan? That's right, made it there without a scratch. The map, the bard's song, the Elder's legend, it was all true. Pah, I wish you could have had some of that fun after you bonded with me. No fair. Of course, back then I had no idea that I'd be the driver of an Aegis someday. Not a clue. And I also had no idea that I'd end up with a blade who was so hungry for experience. I mean, I prefer it when you have something interesting to say. I choose to take it that as a compliment. Well, sure. It was hardly boring discovering that legendary uninhabited titan. The natives gave us a fine chase. Natives? I thought you said it was uninhabited. Well, to be precise, we didn't mean any humans there. Just some monsters of the Arachno, Anton, and Skeeter variety. Cool. And they were pretty huge specimens, too. Must have looked like extra tempting appetizers to them. They were really quite a lot of them. We were lucky to get off the titan in one piece. Ah, fine compens for an adventurer's heart. So you plans to build a holiday dealer there came to nothing. It's more than a little tragic. Well, I mean, that wasn't the primary aim. Perhaps I didn't get a material reward, but I certainly got a spiritual one. Things didn't work out quite so well for my playmates, though. How so? It was a kind of paradise for insects, but I heard later that it was laid to waste by someone or other. The ways of humans are often cruel. What's done is done. It was a time of war, and they had to find a place for some refugees. But the monsters couldn't have agreed grass fat. They probably just saw arrogant humans wrecking their home. Ah, the telling of it falls hard upon my ears. Your Majesty, forgive my interruption, but this appears to be the location mentioned in the report. Ah, so we're here already? The journey passed as the blinking of an eye thanks to Adam's enchanting tales. If your servant's humble recounting was able to relieve your imperial tedium, truly the most blessed the men are not. Oh, I do wish you cut it out, Adam. I'm not your better and you should know it. I wouldn't be so sure of that, Hugo, old friend. Now then, Mithra, I'd really like to get your opinion on this, as the Aegis. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but this isn't Malice's handiwork. How did you come to that conclusion, Mithra? Malice's attacks would have melted the earth and turned it into glass. But whatever did this only scorch the grass. It can't have been such a high temperature. That's a very wise deduction. We're lucky to have you for an ally. I offer my apologies to you all for leading you to this disappointing conclusion. Nay, Aegean. We could not have known without further investigation. With each possibility we discard, we move all the closer to our goal. Everyone, look there. It's a big one. Indeed, we cannot let it run riot. Just think of the damage it could do if we got to Lasham Cove or a settlement. Everyone get to it! So now they gotta deal with a despair opal. Yes, the fight is on. Come on, gotta kick it up to level two. Good, I messed it up. And that did it. Overconfidence leads to carelessness. A fire spewing monster. It's a good thing we had a Aegean on hand. Perhaps it's bold of me to say, but I've dealt with worse. Well, it seems to assume that this was the cause of the burn marks. I would have never dreamed that such a foul fiend could have lain in wait so close to Torgoth. Maybe it was driven out of its original home in a territorial dispute. I've heard that happens from time to time. Yeah, maybe, or more likely some human stole or smash its home up. We call them monsters, but to them, we're the monsters. Indeed, it must be thus. The day shall dawn where man's exploitation of the titans will bring us all to ruin. Perhaps that dawn is already upon us.
interesting thing you've got there. Malice enough. It's all right. Indol's most sacred treasure, the Aegis. It is said to be the embodiment of the Architect's light, the divine revelations our founder Maldonare received. Really? Then... That's what I will be called, too. After all, I am born of divinity, not just some reflection. You believe yourself so strong? <laughs> Don't you? Your situation doesn't look good. Baltric is not going to let it go. Hmm. And you can't hide behind the Praetor forever. That has nothing to do with you. If that were true, you wouldn't be here. Hmm. Tasty secret, formerly known only to the Praetor and me. The essence of our Judician forebears, originally salvaged from the bottom of the Cloud Sea. Some of it may hail from the fabled land of Moritha. Moritha? Look. This here display is a diagram of what human cells are made of. And then this one here is a blades. Astonishingly alike. Of course. After all, they are descended from humans, too. That in and of itself isn't too shocking. But this... It's the same, isn't it? Just wait. That, that's a core crystal. Exactly. A blade's core crystal contains information not only pertaining to humans. It also records schematics describing all manner of animal tissues. You're saying blades contain detailed information of all living creatures? Not just that. Have a look at this undeveloped part. That is from a titan. It suggests that this particular piece may one day develop into a titan. Isn't it mind-boggling? A message from the Architect, no doubt. From the... Architect? Indeed. This is just what you are after. I wish to investigate this, and learn more of what the Architect has in store for this world, and perhaps claim this knowledge for our own. Including the Praetor? Perhaps. Hmm. Isn't this in line with your own goals? Well then, I may as well help out. Well, that just got a bit interesting. I believe that concludes my mission. Shall we head to the flagship? Fine by me. It's a good place for us to exchange information. It's currently moored at Lasham Cove. Then Lasham Cove we go.
that takes care of the main story quest. Power unimaginable. I'm glad we could be of help. Time to press on. And yeah, not much else happening going on. There's something here. We just need to head to the cove and begin the next phase of this trek. Though I hope Laura and everybody else is doing all right. But yeah, I'm making sure I fly through the game as much as possible. But being that this game is going to be long with all the main story stuff and side quests, it's insane. Time to tackle the tough stuff. We go. Show no mercy, Jin. Prepare for combat. Besides, we can handle it. Now it's irate! What got it fired up? Oh, not again. I got wrecked again? How fast is that? Come on. Oh no, Jin and Adam are down! Thank you! There's a Dom! Don't go down on me! And we're dead. I'll have to try again when I'm stronger. Hopefully. There will be a next time, that I promise. I'm like, what? How do we take when Go went down that fast? I like messed up. His power is for you. More power for me. My flame burns ever brighter. No, not enough here. No, still not enough to boost the affinity. I just need to keep building up more and more. And I gotta use the one where you use art to cancel other arts. That helps build it up even faster and helps make my team even that much stronger. But yeah, that level 18 challenge really was a pain. I'll have to wait till I'm at least a little stronger so I can try again. We've been found. What do you want now? Snow Blast. Allow me, your majesty. 
That did it. So you're the Espina Ferris. Oh, may as well take you out. Doesn't work that way. Good. Now we boost our affinity by battling more enemies. Just the way I like it. It would seem I have much left to learn. At least his rank now is at rank D. Can we use this? We'll ignore that big bird for now. Wait until later when we're much stronger. Can we use this? All right, let's make it right there. There's some people waiting for us. Name's Krogane. Krogana the Blade. My driver looks like an overgrown furball, but he's really a seasoned merc. A real hard nut. Thing is, I think he's gotten over his head this time. This job's too much for him to handle. So we've been looking around for drivers who with a good track record to be able to join him. I can tell just by looking at you, folks, there aren't some lousy Sunday drivers. You must have seen real combat. Interested? But first, I want to see how you'll measure up in a fight. As for the rules, let's have you pull off a second stage blade combo. Up, say, about five times. Doesn't matter which element you use, just do any special and then any other one that's level 2 or above 5 times. And obviously, since you can rely on your allies for linking up the specials, you might want to try to mix it up. The place time and target's up to you. I just want to know if your play combos are up to scratch. I make it look like I'm Mihe, but I know my ether. I can feel someone of your power level pull off a special wherever you are. Anyway, I've talked long enough. Hope you got what it takes. This one's on blade coaching. And we've already know how all that works. Hitting an enemy with special begins a blade combo. And yeah, we already know about the tutorial regarding blade combos. There are also critical routes as well. Right. So it was the Sian forces that ravaged this area. Yes. Many troops remained here with no orders after Malos sank their homeland. We're doing our best to disarm them, but... Well, you've seen the village. Sadly, it's happened more than once. The powers that be bicker among themselves, ignoring the larger danger. And right now... That is the one thing we cannot afford. I will go take a look. Incidentally, 
How has Torna been faring? I'd like to tell you that the people bask in the peace of His Majesty's rule. But I'm afraid that would be a lie. Same as everywhere else, then. Yes? Torna has not escaped Malos's rampage unscathed. If that is so, allow me to offer you the Imperial Army's assistance in this time of... Don't worry about it. This is exactly the reason why Indol entrusted her to me. Ah, so you came. The future king of Torna. I'm glad I thought to send a messenger. King, don't joke about it. Rumors like that could cause trouble at home. I am merely a quester. I hold no such influence. I quest it today, but tomorrow... The core's color is different. And she's a woman, too. Mm. Quite lovely indeed. Malos was all brawn and brutish strength. You worry? No, quite the contrary. Everybody knows a blade's appearance bears no relation to their power. You could be the heroine of our resistance. No, I won't be anyone's anything. That's fine now. I have only one thing to ask of you. To rectify the mistake I made. And erase Malos from the face of the world. So that's why the returning hero, pacifier of the Borderlands, was really just... Never before has a blade broken free and rampaged like this. I can see why Indol would prefer to keep it quiet. They're even rooting support to the militia through Argentum for deniability. And then towards you. I'm just some princeling. Me. Surely, if you defeat Malos, your cover will be blown. If, indeed. But we're not in it for the glory, are we? When we're done, I'll just plow my fields in peace. Your Majesty. Some of our troops have returned to base, but... Is something wrong? They're all reporting something strange. A marauding group of routed mercenaries, trying to avoid any attention. Just remnants, hmm? That is strange. There's not much around here for them, in the way of paid work or opportunities for looting. As your majesty commanded, our men did not engage. We confirmed their bearing, then withdrew. And? Where were they going? The village outskirts. But why there? There's nothing but graveyards. <laughs> what the? Oh, no. Laura! At first, I thought to take it. But I'd made it for her, and I'd like her to keep it forever. So, the bitch is dead, is she? Shame. I had a soft spot for her. <laughs> ha! Guess you learned how to use a weapon, at least. Big change from a tiny kid trying not to piss herself in fear. You're... No! God! You remember me? How touching. A 
face that ugly. I couldn't forget. Trust me, I tried. Hush! What do you want? Not that I can't imagine. I'm here to take back what's mine, kid. But before that, I'll take a bit of time to express my gratitude to you. It ain't gonna be pretty or quick. Then I'll make that blade watch as I cut you into little sticky chunks, just to make sure the last thing he feels is complete despair. I'll hold them up. You get to the others quickly. No use. Hayes, he knew about you. He brought no blades, just more marks. Exactly. Don't worry. I gotta treat you real good before I get to the cutting. Ah, jeez, Laura's in deep trouble. How is Laura gonna, re gonna respond to this? Our formation has changed. That's not gonna stop us from trying. Fine. I'll have to take care of each of his mooks one at a time. Yeah, the only way we can is if we take them down one at a time. That's one. Yeah, because the that's the only strategy I have. Focus on the other mooks, and then focus on the big guns. Yeah, but that high evasion. How the heck am I gonna survive that? Now it's just us and you, Gort. You're not even trying. No, seriously, you're not even trying hard enough. Right on target. I fight for my friends. Wow, not bad. Think not bad, Hayes. You're starting to piss me off. Oi! Surround them so they don't get away. My lady, you have to go. It's all right. He's here. You bastard! No! Next, then. Right leg? Or the left? Or how about. <laughs> enough! That's enough, Jim. Just leave him. For my sake.
So you let him go. Even without his arms, he may cause you more trouble. One day. I didn't want to end it here. He might deserve it, but he did take care of my mother, so... Mm. Let's go back. I suppose I can bring myself to step foot on this flagship after all. At least that ended as well as it did. Jeez, this is so not going to end well. No way. Yeah, I'm surprised they never show him him losing his arms like that. I mean, sheesh. That's saying a lot. Oh, man. This is how I'll protect well, at least I can now use it to max, max, max out the first row. Yeah, but my now my next priority is to at least get this quick fire combo. That's the one thing I really do need if I am gonna make sure my blades get better. And let's also not forget her. It takes time and effort to get. Yeah, it's high, it's it high time, time now that we make sure she gets get better than ever. Good. Watch for this one later. And I'm ten short from leveling up the touch me not. This one's second nature to me now. I can keep on going, especially at this rate. I can keep on going, there especially you go. at this rate. Ah, yes, I forgot about I this guy. Time to level up the rest of his stuff. The culmination of years of sovereignty. I shall aim ever higher. Oh, don't worry, you're going to be a big, big help. With this power, the way is clear. With this power, the way is clear. Yeah, because I forgot about leveling you up. His affinity is set. There's also his accessories. So let's see if we can improve his gear. I've improved measurably. Very good. At least that improved big time. Now let's make sure that we improve the rest of these. Alright. We're set. Let's move. But yeah, I'm surprised the game didn't show his arms completely locked. I wonder why, because even though this game is like... I I don't know if whether or not they made... If, if they did show it to him, then yeah, he would have... The game would have had its rating a bit higher. But still, it's a scary thought. I mean, jeez, losing both your arms? Aren't that's you nuts. Something of an expert. That's absolutely nuts. Well, the good news is I'm going to make sure I collect whatever I possibly can. Wait, is it possible for me to excavate this? The suspense is Don't have to me. tell me twice. It's no, I need another blade to boost up on mining. Until then, I don't have much. Though I hated how Gormop becomes a wreck. 500 years later, it ends up being a town where most of their journey will begin. This is becoming a something of an expert. 
But having Haze around as a healer blade actually does help. Nice. Boost up more affinity for Aegean. And I want to make sure I keep doing that. Because there's still so many other blades I need to get. But it also means I gotta grind to get legendary core crystals. But man, oh man, this could have ended a lot worse. I'm surprised Jim came to save the day when he did. And yeah, pretty soon we'll be moving on to the next part soon enough. I'm liking how the story is coming along. This day just keeps getting better and better, I swear. It really is. Noted. Aren't we intrepid? Oh great, another bird that wants to play. Fine, let's take him down. Oh, well, at least that takes care of the bird brain. Nice, we also unlocked zero blade level two. May as well get that one, Jenna, out of the way. More power for our cause. Now I gotta defeat more enemies to help build max out the blades. Hello, Espina Ferris. Time for you to get whooped. Back. Boy, were you actually gonna summon reinforcements? That you know that wasn't gonna work that way, right? Good riddance to bad rubbish. That takes care of Doc, the quest for Doc and the asthma well, We can check up on him a little later. I start thinking about the people dearest to me. Love one, son. Solid plan. Right. Oh, goody, a noble ass bar. Yeah, stay down. You gonna stay down this time? I've thought about it actually. But in all honesty, Bridget, I'm happiest keeping all my memories here in my heart. That's better. All right, now let's head into the ship. We have much to do. Well, here we are. Welcome aboard, my honored guests. It's funny. I was expecting to be all glitz and glamour. Halls of gold, diamond chandeliers, and all that. But there's nothing like that here. I like this much better. It all depends on the country. Some of the nobility like to travel in style, and believe me, they don't go halfway. Moradi, on the other hand, is a military state. They take a more pragmatic approach. 
Just as the Emperor must be a masterful driver, so must their diplomatic vessels be armed for war. That is the Ardanian way. So long as its mission is not a covert one, every flagship under our command must be a throne I may ascend. And if the leader is the first to fall, what then? Chin! It's alright, Laura. He makes a valid point. That is precisely why Aegean and Brigid, the jewels of the Empire, have been bestowed upon me. Your Majesty. We will do everything in our power to protect you, Your Majesty, even at the cost of our lives. I am blessed to have such loyal companions. Your Majesty, we have urgent news. His Majesty is currently entertaining guests. I would entrust you not to incur his displeasure. Uh, my, my humble apologies, Your Majesty. Okay. Alright. Bye. Yeah. Mom. Yes. Mom will talk later. I go. Bye. It's alright. I trust this is news of special importance. Please give us your tidings. Of course, Your Majesty. As you know, we've applied stricter regulations to our scout patrols in light of the recent tragedy at Toraga. Well, one of our patrols happened upon a young Gormani near the camp at Sagal Fell, but they lost track of him. So, you think he might be a survivor? We believe so. We can send out further patrols immediately, if His Majesty assents. I see. I'm sorry that we had to keep you waiting. Please go ahead. Yes, Your Majesty. I would like for our company to shelter as many refugees as falls within our means. I do hope he can be found quickly. Wait, we should go with them. What for? The army's not exactly short-staffed. He's just a kid. He'll be scared witless of the soldiers. Of course he's gonna run away. Laura's got a point. Very well, let's head out. We would do well to make haste before he strays any further afield. Thanks, guys. You're such a bunch of do-gooders. It's gonna land us in trouble soon. Time for the main story quest. Where is the boy gone? And let's take care of this first. Dud down sinking in the doldrums. If not delivered quickly, partner sure to flip lid. Meh meh. Travelers? Please to listen to Dunan's woes. Dunan is salvager by trade as friends see. His entire livelihood. Dunan have been diving off Lesham Co with wood cylinders in effort to find specific treasure. But all Dudan find is useless collectibles. Now you've scrapped. More worth to throw away than keep. Probably fault of wood cylinders. Not really built to last. Have heard salvagers and more ordain use shiny silver cylinders or some such. Dudan not have luxury to use such high tip equipment, but want to change that. It may be askers too much, but could Dundan trouble travelers for helping? We need friends to collect apple lamps and alloy sheeting. Then Dudan can dive deep in the cloud seat with silver cylinder on back and glide to treasure like sleep, sleepy surprise. If friends do this, we'll give all of leftover useless. Uh, no, sorry, me. Very, very precious bat hinges of reward. Do not counting on you. Another quest: salvage the salvager. Work to do. I'll be taking care of most of these quests off screen as a means to help improve. But there's like a lot, so once we go through them, we're gonna end it. Cause I got something anyway. War with the queens, raids by Malos. I hope more day can make it though. But I worry what would happen if we couldn't maintain our strength. We're supposed to be His Majesty's vanguard. In the face of this kind of threat, we ought to be looking for some fresh energy to bolster our defense. Huh? Where'd you guys spring from? What? What do we? Why do we need to bolster our defense, you say? Surely that's obvious. Our one only has two choices in life. Success through strength or weeping in weakness. Well, that's in the world the way it is right now, at least. So if there's something I can do to make His Majesty a little stronger, what I mean to say is I want to be a strong and effective soldier for the good of my homeland. And you warp up against an opponent like Malos. I still want to do what I can. That's right. I could probably learn a thing or two from you guys. You look like you can handle yourselves. Maybe you'll do me the honor of giving me a bow. But don't hold back. No need to sugarcoat it. Just come at me like it's the real thing. That's the sort of mindset that we'll need if we're going to have a hope of standing up to Aegis. 
I'm known as the best shot in the whole of the Imperial Army. Underestimate me at your peril. Here I come! This is the quest, the Ardanian Gunman. I would be no leader if I turned down an opportunity like this. Spoiling for a fight. So he wants us to battle, huh? All right. This guy's gonna give it all we have. Yeah, now it's talking. Oh no, Jin is down. Thank you. And that did it. Jen, you're furious. You gotta level up out of that. My fury. What are you trying to say exactly? Okay. You're even stronger than you look. Such incredible power. I'm the best sniper in the Imperial Army, but you may like work on me. You've shown us all up. I'm not just your physical strength either. It's the way that you fight as driver and blade. What in that incredible synergy. I get the feeling your true strength lies in the connection that you have. You've shown me the way. From now on, I won't see myself as the lone wolf anymore, but as part of a larger whole. I'll think of my friends and all the Ardanian people, and all the future generations. I'll make my goal in life to be someone who is loved and respected by my people. The battle has taught me what I really ought to be aiming for in life. I hardly have the words to thank you. Another community gain. Much appreciated. Well, I hope it can actually improve on that, because there's like a lot of these side stories we gotta do. Great. Another problem solved. Good, at least it helps improve at least a lot. And boost affinity. Yeah, I'm gonna end this here because we're gonna be continuing the journey in the next part. That's gonna be it for Xenoblade 2, Torn of the Golden Country. I'll see you in part 4 where we continue forth. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit the like button. It really does mean a lot to me. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and more importantly, click the bell. Doing all this helps me out big time. And if you want to support the channel, consider supporting me on Patreon. All it takes is $1 a month. This is Mega Man NG signing off. Peace out.